to everyone. Welcome in our meditation, our Lenten pilgrimage, not by bread alone. This is your pastor, Yanti. The second week of Lent is Wednesday. Word to the wise. And our readings are Jeremiah 18, 18 to 20, and Matthew 20, 17 to 28. The scripture, let us destroy him by his own tongue. Let us carefully note his every word. Jeremiah 18, verse 18b, no reflection. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Or so the old playground chant would have us believe. But once we move beyond hopscotch and dodgeball, we quickly realize that words do have a power of their own. And words spoken are sometimes words withheld, can, in fact, hurt us. In today's first reading, we see an angry throng looking to take Jeremiah's own words and use them against him. This is possible, the worst way words can be weaponized. Things taken out of context or twisted to suit another's agenda can be destructive to people on both sides of the equation. Even in the gospel, as the disciples and their mother argue over who will have the best position. It is words spoken too quickly and without deeper thought that get them into trouble. They do not understand the way of what they are saying and what they are asking. They will find out soon enough when they too have to suffer for being followers of Jesus. But they so, are so caught up in a kind of war of words that they don't take the time to listen to what Jesus is trying to tell them. Words matter especially when we wield them against another in an attempt to better ourselves or our position. Whether in the church, the larger community, or around our kitchen table. Our meditation. If you spend any time on the social media, eventually you'll see a meme that will remind you that when it comes to the words we use, there are three things to remember before you speak. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? Think about those questions for a few minutes. How often do we say things that, even if they are true, are often not kind and certainly not necessary. It's a pretty high standard, but the truth is that it's a good code of conduct to live by. The next time you think about saying something that has the potential to hurt someone else, stop for a minute and take a deep breath. Ask yourself those three questions and then decide 
if it's worth it. Pray with me. Father, we come to you today knowing that too often we focus on words instead of on the only word that matters. The word among us. May that be our starting point now and always. In Jesus' name, amen. Is it true? Is it kind? Is it necessary? I think this is something that we all have to remind ourselves before we open our mouth. And if we are honest, Words are rolling so fast out of our mouth. So ask the Holy Spirit to be the watch over our mouth. As we pray, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord. Have a beautiful day or evening, wherever you are on the planet and listening to this. And make it practical in what you just heard. And I'm talking to myself too. God bless you. Abundant. Lenten blessings as you walk on your pilgrimage up your way to Easter. And God bless. Bye.